Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial on how to remove the headlight housing from a US made 2008 Ford Focus. Now this is the SES trim level however the important part here is that this is the US version not the U European version. To do this project you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket wrench or rather I should say a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter um, socket attached to it. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver preferably with a long shaft and you're going to need some paper towels or a cloth, something you can use for padding that will become apparent later. To do this project, we're going to remove the grill. Now to remove the grill, there are four plastic pins here you're going to have to remove. Now after we get those pins removed and pull off the grill, there are three bolts that loosen the headlight housing, one of which is under the grill you can't see. We'll get to it. Obviously to start this project, you're going to want to pop the hood. get it stood up here and get your hands free. After your hood's up, you are going to go for your screwdriver and you're going to start popping up these plastic pins. Now these plastic pins come in two parts. Um, there's sort of like a little socket part that slips down. There's a pin part that goes in and secures it. Both parts just pull, or I'm sorry, both parts just pop up, um, get under them and pry and pull them up. After they're up, you'll see here in a second. I'll do this. Uh, well, actually, I guess you can't see. Uh, you put the two hat, put the two halves back together, and set it aside just so you don't lose it. It's easier to deal with four parts than, rather than eight. Now, as you're going to see in a second, it is really important not to drop any component uh, into the engine bay. Now, I got lucky that fell all the way through to the ground. Didn't have to go fishing for it. So do be careful while you're doing this. We're halfway there. Now, uh, I would be remiss at this point if I didn't say that I am not any kind of a licensed car mechanic. Um, however, I'm just a car owner. And uh, after trying to put some new headlights in my car and having driven it to a bunch of different car shops and actually eventually the dealership where we took it, uh, the Ford mechanic said that to replace the headlights, I'd have to remove the radiator coolant bottle for the right one and pretty much half the air intake system for the left one, the left one being on the right side of the screen. Um, I decided to find a different way, and this is the way I ended up finding it. Now, eventually, after you get all of these pins removed and set aside, set aside, there we go. There are two little divots on the top. Um, pop those up. They're not very important. Now you're going to want to grab your paper towels or your cloth and uh, kind of pat them up, fold it up, get some padding, and eventually you're going to wrap it around the shaft of your flathead screwdriver, just like so. The reason for this is because the way you're going to end up kind of prying the bottom of the grill off of the top of the bumper in order to pull it out. The way that it secures to the bumper on the I'm, I'm sorry, the way the grill attaches to the car on the bottom is that there are four little U-like slots that the grill kind of slides into that come up from the bottom of the bumper, and then there are two clips that sit between those slots that are attached to the um, grill itself and they clip down over the bumper. To remove the bumper, you've got to basically push the bumper down and pull the grill up so that you get that clip up and over the bumper. And the easiest way to do this is get something to pry under there and uh, push the bumper down, pull the grill up, it'll pop right off. I think eventually here I get this first one, maybe? Yes, there it came. Obviously you want to add a little bit of padding because you, you know, at least I would rather not scratch my paint job the entire time uh, I'm doing this. You gotta pry a little bit hard. It's not the easiest thing in the world. And I think this one comes a lot quicker. Yep, there it goes. As you can see, there's the entire bumper removed. If you wanna paint the grill, de-chrome it, um, de-icon it, or whatever you kids call it these days. Anyway, back to the headlights. You're gonna grab your socket wrench with your 10 millimeter socket on there. I did not show it to the camera very well. And you're going to want to remove these. And make sure your socket wrench is set to loosen, not tighten. 
and there are three bolts with washers. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing hidden or fancy about these bolts. They're just bolts. So loosen them up, pull them out, and set them aside. Now in this video, I'm only going to work on this left headlight, which is on the right side of your screen. But excuse me. But at this point, the process is exactly the same for your left. I'm sorry. Excuse me. The process is exactly the same for the right headlight, which would be on the left side of the screen. Now, those are the two bolts that I showed earlier in the video. If I could get it out. Come on, me. Work faster. I don't work fast enough for my own voiceover, apparently. Come on. There we go. Now the third one is hidden under the grill, which is why you have to pop the grill off. Now this one is slightly different because it actually just sits in a channel, whereas the other two sit in actual holes. So it is possible to remove the headlight housing without completely taking this bolt out. However, because of the way the headlight sits in there, you have to kind of pull it up and over the top of the front bumper. And um, it's hard to get that much clearance when the bolt's still in there. Eventually here, somewhere, don't, don't drop your tools. Eventually, somewhere you'll see a cut where I attempted to remove the headlight without completely taking this bolt. There it is. Without completely taking the bolt out, then decided, you know, let's just take the whole bolt out. We loosened it enough anyway. It's easier to take it out at this point. Although, for some reason, on my car, this bolt is a little bit squirrely. Eventually, I get it. There we go. Now, at this point, your headlight housing is loose, and all you got to do is get it out. As you can see, you kind of crack it at the top, and then eventually you got to pull the bottom up over the top of the bumper, and you'll see I sort of push down on the bumper and pull up. Oh, there it went. And the whole headlight housing pops right out. From this position, it's really easy to access your headlights, as you'll see I'll do right now. And it's easy if you want to install HID headlights, if you want to put any other aftermarket things on, completely... Re, uh, I'm sorry, completely um, put in a brand new headlight housing, whatever the case may be. Um, this is obviously a lot easier method than taking out, you know, half of the air intake system. And after you're done here, all that's left is to reassemble your car. Slide that headlight housing back into its slot, and it goes in there a little hard. Eventually, you can see I get it. Take your bolts, put them back in. Wow, I look really efficient this way. <laughs> I make an excellent car mechanic, at least at this speed, <laughs> five times faster. Then you're just going to put your grill back on. For the bottom, just line it up and push in. It'll clip. Put the top in those little divots, and then put back those plastic retainer pins. They go in really easily. Make sure everything's steady. And as soon as you do that, you're done.